and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a wonderful part of Canvas in the form of its accessibility tool and feature, Immersive Reader. So one of the things that we love about Canvas is that there are lots of built-in UDL-friendly accessibility tools in the platform itself for both staff and for students. And one of those helpful things is a tool called Immersive Reader. So maybe you've heard of Immersive Reader before. It's a product owned by Microsoft technically, but Canvas has partnered with Immersive Reader to basically put this tool in most of Canvas. The only exception at this point in time being that Immersive Reader is not in the quiz tool, but it is supposed to be in that tool down the road. Immersive Reader has a lot of helpful features for students. It has a dictionary, a picture dictionary, text to speech, so students can read with their ears. There's the ability to highlight parts of speech, translation tools, and the ability to have translated content read by the text to speech. Uh, so it's a little bit easier for some of our students who maybe need to hear it and read with their ears for translated content too. So to access Immersive Reader, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. This is something that students have access to as well as staff. So I'm going to pop over into a sample course so you can see what that looks like. So if I go over here into this sample course, if you ever want to do a little bit of a trial run and what your course looks like, this is technically the feature for this tip, but I'm still going to show it to you anyway, is that whenever you're in a course, you can easily toggle into student view to preview your course from a student's perspective. The cool thing about Canvas student view is that you can even submit assignments and you can take quizzes from student view which then in turn gives you a test student account basically in your course where you can practice entering grades and get familiar with the Canvas gradebook as well. So that's just a little training tip is if you're pretty unfamiliar with things in Canvas or you want to get a feel for what the gradebook feels like and how you can provide feedback to students, toggle with your course's student view and you can submit assignments and give yourself grades so you can get familiar with it. So Immersive Reader is something that you have in Student View as well as Teacher View. And to open Immersive Reader, if I'm in a course, it's always going to be across this top panel. It's typically in the right-hand corner of the screen. Right. So again, you don't have to be in Student View for this. I just wanted to show you that feature as well. So um, I'm in just my traditional view now in here, but I still have access to Immersive Reader. So across the bottom is where you see some of these options for reading with your ears. So if I click play world history and Civ homepage to due date, November 21st at 1:59 AM. Hello and welcome. Hello, ninth grade. So it goes through and it reads all of this content that I have typed out as the teacher for my students. If I click the settings button, I have flexibility on how quickly or slowly I would like the content read as well as the voice type. Over here, I have additional text preferences options. I can increase the text size, which is great for some of our students who'd like to have things enlarged on their device. They do still have access to Chromebook accessibility settings too, to enlarge it further. I can increase or decrease spacing. By default, it is set to increase. I can change the fonts to maybe ones that are a little bit more friendly for my students. I can go into different themes and higher contrast so students have flexibility there. There's a whole menu of options. We know some of our students like to have their devices in dark mode. Uh, and if I click over here, this is more of the grammar options. I can even have it mark syllables. It can do nouns, parts of speech here. I can go through and toggle on as many or as few of those as I would like. So totally up to me on how I would like to do this. And this last one is reading preferences. So with reading preferences, I can have line focus to where it can read line by line. As I scroll through, it does it line by line, as well as if I use the text to speech feature here and reading with my ears, I can do a couple of lines at a time, um, or I can do the entire page, which is pretty much how it's set up right now. The cool thing here is the picture dictionary. So if I click, a word here. I can listen to the word. Students. And for some words, but not all, there is the picture dictionary. So if I have that turned on. I can click it and there we go. It's very similar to the read and write for Google picture dictionary. It brings up some images there, but it's not available for every word, unfortunately, but several of them. And here is the translation feature. So I can translate all of this content I have typed out. So if I want to do it individually, word by word, first I have to select the language. 
and they are constantly adding more languages and they even have different dialects so it can better accurately pick up on different slang terms along the way. So if I select Spanish here, I can do word by word and select the word and it will translate that one. But I typically like to do the entire document. So the whole thing is translated there for me. So I have it translated now. And again, this is artificial intelligence doing the translating. So there are some potential for inaccuracies, but it does do a pretty good job. And then I can listen to it in Spanish. Historia mundial y SIG. Fecha de tareas pendientes. 21 de noviembre a la 1.59 a.m. Hola y bienvenidos. Hola, estudiantes de estudios sociales de noveno grado y bienvenidos a nuestro curso en línea de historia y civilizaciones del mundo. All right, so pretty awesome features there. If I ever need to go into full screen mode again right there, and if I want to toggle back to the original view, I can do that. It doesn't remember my settings, but I can also toggle back to immersive reader at any point in time. So this tool is baked in throughout Canvas. It's available on pages. If your students are going through modules, it is there. The only place where Immersive Reader is not located is on the quiz tool in Canvas, but it is something that they're adding the ability to toggle on and off. The teacher has the flexibility on that in the future, but it, right now at this point in time, it's not available on that tool. So they haven't added it there because there's the potential for students to use it on quiz. And maybe you don't want necessarily want students to use that, but, uh, pretty fantastic. So I hope you have found Immersive Reader to be exciting and is a tool that you'll utilize with your students.